What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you've ever gone flying and wanted to use your cell phone or tablet for entertainment, you need to check this out. So I just picked this up. It's called Flight Flap, and this one is for the phone holder. You can actually use it for a tablet, and what you can see here is a screen, but it's much smaller than this flight flap. I already did a video on this one. This is for tablets. And now you can use either of these for phones or tablets, but obviously the larger size of this one makes it kind of more uh, useful for the larger size tablets. I would say a seven and an inch and below, this will probably work too, but this is just really nice, especially for seven to 10 inches, uh, just a much a better form factor for that. But what I did not have is one for the phone. And obviously I have a phone here and I do most of my work and uh, you know, movie enjoyment and TV enjoyment on my phone. And in fact, it's usually the easiest thing to get out of my pocket or my carry on when I am on a flight. So I wanted to check this out and share with you. Now, what I wanna show you here, obviously there's a pretty big difference it's probably about 60% of the width and probably about 70% of the length. So quite a bit smaller, but just like this one, there is some sort of like metal or flexible um, piece in here that's sandwiched between a couple of foam pieces here. Now, this foam material is also pretty slick. I will say it kind of feels a little bit like, oh, I, it's, it's like a little saran wrap-ish, you know, almost like maybe packaging tape. It's slick, but it's not super slippery. It's got a little bit of a strange grip to it, you know? Um, and I wish it were a little grippier, to be really honest. Maybe a little bit more like, I don't know, um, like maybe a little bit more like saran wrap. Let's call it more like uh, Ziploc bag material. And if it were a little more like saran wrap, I feel like when you put your phone on it, it wouldn't slide around. Right now, I'm just gonna put my phone on here and show you that you know, either way, things will slide around. And so, especially turbulence and kind of the motion of the airplane might rock it off. But what I want to just show you here is that um, it's nice and soft. You don't have to worry about screwing up anything. But if I were to make a little tent like this, I could put it on my, <laughs> that was like the worst folding job I've ever seen. So you could kind of make a little, this is an iPhone XS Max, so it's a larger phone. You could make a little stand for it on your tray table. But the beautiful thing about this is uh, looking down on a phone on your tray table is really not the best position in my opinion. And so what you can see here is that it's also meant to be used like on the tray table or in the tray table. So when the tray table is in the up position, what you can do here is kind of fold this edge over like this, kind of snake it over the, the top edge of the tray table and then fold this bottom part up like this and now put your phone in it. Now your phone is at a more eye level. I will say it's probably, you're still looking down a little bit on it, but you know, that's definitely an improvement and you'd probably want to minimize how high this lip goes just like that. And so you can see here, the, the problem I think will be is if you get a little sideways motion, the, the phone might be able to kind of slide out. Um, I think you probably shouldn't have too much side to side motion, uh, even in turbulence. But if you are getting turbulence, you, this is probably something you want to want to grab or something like that. Now you could potentially fold this edge up and really kind of pinch it in there, but you're blocking some of the screen. Now, the other thing that I want to bring up out here is that above the trade table on a lot of planes now, there is a separate pocket. So they put the pocket for the brochures and the magazines at the top because now they don't put in a lot of those in-flight entertainment screens on the top of the seats. So you can put this even up higher. Um, sometimes it's a really big opening, so you could even make this kind of a big hook if you needed to kind of take up the slack and again just kind of making a little tray here so that you can put your phone in it here's the S xs max here's the regular iphone x um, so perfect size for all that again you might want to kind of turn down the edge here a little bit so it doesn't block the screen but the beauty of this is regardless of what kind of seat you're in you can kind of make this work for anything if you've got a little slot where um, there's the plastic piece meets the the fabric of the headrest, you might be able to snake this in there. It's just really flexible. And the beauty is in the simplicity of the design. It's not one of the hard clips that fit like the little tray clips or something that have to be a certain way that they're hard plastic, that they take up a lot of volume in your 
um, your suitcase. You know, in fact, you could use this in your hotel room. You can use it anywhere. It's not just kind of a single use piece of material. And then the other beautiful thing about this is, you know, when you're done with it, again, you're gonna kind of get some waves and wrinkles in it, but it folds flat. So you can put it back in your backpack, your briefcase, your little carry-on luggage. And so they'll take up almost no space and you really don't have to worry about breaking them. So I'm really excited about these things. I'll say this one is about 20 bucks. This one is about 10 bucks. And so, you know, I would say actually for what you're getting the intrinsic value of this thing, it's a little on the expensive side, but I think kind of the value to you as a traveler to have something that's simple like this, that works really well, and you know can fit trains, planes, and automobiles is pretty awesome, pretty clever. Sometimes the, the best ideas are the simple ones. So if you wanna pick this up, just follow the link in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.